Mabuha from the Philippines. Hi, I'm Shedley Sahibataba and welcome to the show. Today I'm in beautiful Manila. A little later on, we'll be visiting Cebu. Right now, I want to show you my barong. Barong is the Philippine national dress and it's made of stuff called husi. Husi is banana tree fiber. Now let's check out Manila together. Manila, capital city of the Philippines. It's home to some 10 million Filipinos. Malay, Chinese, Indian, and North African traders first voyaged to these friendly shores centuries ago. Spanish rule for more than 300 years, and in this century, the Americans. Today, Manilans are cleaning up, building up, and sprucing up, because in 1998, the country will celebrate 100 years of independence from Spain. Literally, the city in walls, Intramuros, is the Manila of the past. This is where Legazpi built his fort after his victory over the Muslims in 1521. I enjoyed exploring the cobblestone streets, Look what I found, this beautiful museum right in the heart of the city. All around this area, you'll find buildings being restored and refurbished, all part of the big plan for the big celebration of the Centennial 1998. The most important defense location here is Fort Santiago. From this strategic position, all activity on Manila Bay could be watched. This is also where Dr. Jose Rizal, the national hero who called for Philippine independence, spent his last days before his famous last march and execution by the Spaniards in 1896. This is one of the entrances to the dungeons here at Fort San Diego. Thousands of people were incarcerated here over the years, from the Spanish right up to the Japanese. And right after the war, they found 600 bodies of Americans and Filipinos stuffed inside there. They say the ghosts still walk here at night. I believe it. 